Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dream and I am, today this video is gonna be about sharing my five tips or hacks, whatever you wanna call it, how I get laundry done and completed and to get my family of four ready for the new week. So my first hack that I do is I, you have to come up with a laundry schedule. Some people believe in washing one load a week, I felt that Monday through Fridays, we are super duper busy and having a load to fold on Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, and Friday night was a little bit too much for my family of four. Me and my husband, we work full-time jobs and it just wasn't getting done. And then I would have a big old pile of wrinkled clothes that I would have to refluff or rewash and it was just a waste of our time. So I came up with a schedule that worked with us. I so the first thing that I do is I don't do anything on Monday and Tuesday. On a Wednesday, that's just the day I chose, I do one load of laundry. As soon as I get home from work, I throw a load in and then right before I go to bed, I throw it into the dryer. I will typically, sometimes it gets done if me and my husband are staying up and been binge watching a show, but we are pretty early risers, so we go to bed pretty, pretty early. Easy peasy, it's only one load, it's already dried. My washer kind of keeps it fluff for a little bit, not for a long time, but at least for a day. Um, uh, that load is done. I don't do anything on Thursday besides maybe fold that load. Friday, when Friday comes, when I get home from work, I will throw a load in. Typically on Fridays, we either do a Friday family movie night or me and my husband have a date night. So it doesn't matter when I get back or when we get back from doing whatever we're doing as a family. Before we head up to go to bed, I will throw that load that I put in after work on Friday, I will throw that load into the dryer. On Saturday morning, I will fold, fold that load as well. Saturday morning hits, I have one load of laundry to fold, and then I also will throw a load in. Um, I will wash that load and then dry it and get it folded and put away. Sunday, I'm pre we usually have family fun stuff that we do, but later on in the day, I will wash and fold one more load, like the last big load of items that we, to get the laundry basket as empty and clear as possible. Is it always empty and clear? No, that's just not realistic. And I don't set, like to set those goals for myself. So whatever I can get into that last load, I get it in, I get it washed, dried and folded and put away. So four days, I'm doing loads, I'm washing them, and that just seems to be more manageable and work for my family. Second tip, I only separate my laundry into darks and lights. You're wondering, well, what about those red pants? They're gonna go into the darks. What about grays? Grays are wonderful. Sometimes I put grays with darks, sometimes I put grays with lights. It just depends what load of laundry that I'm doing. So darks and lights, and then some colors, I let them float between the dark and the light. If you have darks, lights, tans, delicates, all of this stuff, it may not work for you guys. Not everything I dry, there are a lot of items that in my laundry room I hang up to dry, like more delicate items. But as far as washing them, my laundry has different cycles. I just pick a cycle, but I only do light and dark. That's it. No other crazy stuff. I just don't have time for it. The third tip is that you're wondering, what about stains? What if things are gross and stained? I have two kids. I get it. Things get stained. I'm actually pretty clumsy myself. Things get stained. I have started using OxyClean. And the best thing about OxyClean, not started using it, I've been using it for a while. The best thing about this OxyClean is that it works on colors too. I love that modern farmhouse style. Along with that comes a lot of things that are cream and white and tan. And I don't like dirty stuff in my house. Everything in my house needs to be able to be washed because I can't stand if it's dingy, dirty, and gross. This gets my whites white and bright. It keeps my colors as colored as they can be. And it takes out stain, dirt, everything. I throw this into um, with my laundry detergent. So it gives it just an extra boost. 
Like I said, I talked about stains. What do I do about stains? I, we went to Home Depot. We picked up a very inexpensive, cheap gray bucket. I actually keep this in the garage. I fill it up with hot water and a few scoops of OxyClean. Anything that has heavy duty stains will sit in this bucket. It could sit in this bucket for up to a week. Um, I will just reapply the hot water as needed and throw in another scoop of OxyClean until that item gets clean. Um, this bucket, like I said, sits in my garage. Garage. You can sit it in your laundry room as well, but that's just where we have it. And that soaks our things that are super duper stained. So OxyClean, third tip, it has been such a lifesaver. This video is not sponsored. I just absolutely love it. Fourth tip is I have developed a folding and putting away method that works for everybody. I like things neat and tidy. You can tell by that if you watch my channel, how I have 50 million cleaning videos. I love cleaning. I love when everything has a place and everything goes in this place. To keep, so KonMari method, while I love it and it's awesome and I use it to declutter, the folding method, I knew that my 16 year old son was not gonna do it and my husband, even though he's a grown man. So I do our clothing that go into dressers and drawers, I roll them. Everybody can roll. My three-year-old can roll. So my husband learned how to do it. My son learned how to do it. So everybody can help get laundry put away quick and easy in a timely manner. tip for this video my little hack for getting things done have um, just a space and a place for everything I'm gonna tour my laundry room and show you guys what I mean my soaps and laundry detergent are all laid out easy peasy for anybody to grab I have a space in my laundry area to hang clothes if you don't have spaces and places to put things you're probably not gonna be effective so I have an area where we hang all the items that need to be hung. I have an area in my laundry room where dirty clothes go. I have um, just spaces and places for all the things that I need for my laundry room. So guys, by no means is my laundry room fancy at all. I just put in here, frankly, things that I enjoyed and things that were going to be useful in this space, which really helps when you're a working mom and you're short on time. Everything in my laundry room has a space, cleaning supplies, and all the other items that I clean. When I need to hang things to dry, there's a spot for that. Um, there is a trash can near my dryer where I throw in my lint. I got the trash can from the dollar store. There is is a hamper where we can throw dirty clothes or where I can transport clothes for my washer and my dryer. On the other side of this part is a hook where I can also hang up items as well. But just making your laundry room more efficient and just clean and orderly will also greatly help. And it doesn't Hurt to have a laundry area that is cute and pleasant to look at. And I don't mean going out and spending hundreds and hundreds Typically, it's thousands of dollars if I think about the washer and dryer that we had, uh, that we got on um, washer and dryer. I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying a clean and tidy laundry room. That doesn't mean you can go to the dollar store and find bins to sort and organize your laundry area or your laundry closet or whatever you're working with. But when you have a clean and tidy space and everything has a place, it makes laundry or doing laundry and getting laundry put away that much easier. Um, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see everybody in my next one. Bye.